There are six high school academies in Fairfax County Public Schools. In the academy program, juniors and seniors take advanced technical or specialized electives that would be difficult or expensive to offer at every high school. Through the academy program, students have the opportunity to earn professional certification or post-secondary course credit, all while gaining hands-on career experience. Each academy focuses on one area of study. Here at Falls Church Academy, coursework centers on health and human services. Students can take classes like fire and emergency medical sciences, marketing, nursing, criminal justice, pharmacy technician training, and a lot more. For the past several years, Academy staff have noticed that while some students were very successful in their Academy electives, they would struggle with one or more of their core classes, science, math, English, or social studies. For these students, participation and attendance in their electives was high, but engagement in their core classes was lacking, to the extent of putting students at risk of failure or not graduating on time. The Office of Career and Technical Education has partnered with the Office of Non-Traditional School Programs to create new programs targeting at-risk students. These new programs are called Non-Traditional Career Readiness Academies, or NCRA. We kind of created a one-room schoolhouse approach. We're located in the academy wing, and the students can access us for any of, anywhere between one to four classes a day, and they'll continue to be um, enrolled in their academy classes and other classes here at the school site. Um, we'll offer a self-paced learning environment. Um, we do a little bit of direct instruction. We use online coursework. We vary that based on the student's needs. So when a student comes to us, um, many times they come to us because they've failed that class, for example. In a traditional classroom, they would have to retake the whole class, you know, August to June. So what we do is we look at them and we assess them as to what they know. So a lot of times students can be more successful in our class because they don't have to sit through the same material twice that they already know. And that's kind of sometimes how you lose kids because They've, they've already said, I know it, I know it, I know it, and then all of a sudden, oh, I didn't know that. So we're just going to hit the stuff that you don't know and build on what you already do. What NCRA looks like at Falls Church Academy is one classroom, two teachers, four subjects, and usually around a dozen students, students who are all working at their own pace. Self-pacing and individualized instruction gives these students a welcome alternative to standard classroom practices. Some students are quite a bit far behind and this gives them an extra opportunity to catch up. Um, I think the students are comfortable with the fact that they don't all have to be at the same pace in the course. And a typical classroom will be teaching English, science, social studies all in the same learning environment. Students can end up in NCRA for many reasons. For some, one academic slip can set into motion a series of events that negatively impacts their attitude towards school. Last year, my attendance was very bad, very, very bad. I rarely ever showed up. Like, the teachers would be like, oh, this kid's still in my class. <laughs> and then now, this year, it's like I tried to make it even on time. It's like, oh my god, like I have to get to that class immediately. I can't miss it. I can't. If I'm behind, I dislike it so much, especially because I'm moving so far ahead that I like it. I don't want to be behind. Every kid has a story and there's no two kids who are alike. We have kids who are homeless. We have kids who don't have parents that are uh, part of their lives. They're their own. They're enrolled, self-enrolled. Um, we have kids whose parents are very involved in trying hard to help the kids get ahead and the kids aren't following through. We have kids that um, you know, they have to work every day after school. They have, we have kids who, I mean, they have to. They need the money. Um, kids who work on the weekends and every day after school, and some kids who don't have jobs or anything. So, you know, it goes all over the place, and for every kid you have, you have a different story. I was struggling in m most of my classes from sophomore to junior year. I wasn't, uh, I didn't have the credits for those two years. So for this year, I'm able to make up the credits and hopefully graduate on time. These are not slow kids. You know, they're not, not, they're not failing because they don't have the, the ability to do the work. They're failing because something else isn't working for them. Um, if they're here and they're working with us, they're usually doing really well. Teachers who work with non-traditional school programs, including NCRA, are special. 
They work with students, teachers, and school counselors to find out exactly what is needed to best reach students. And that's one thing that our teachers really do well is they collaborate with each other. Um, we meet once a month and talk about kids. Um, we have a thing called Kid Talk where they sit around and they, they describe a student and say, I, they, they describe the strategy they've, they've, they've used and say, what else can I do? And a lot of it is a, a non-academic issue. It's more or less, how can I reach this kid differently? Non-traditional school programs provide academic help where it's needed most. Programs like NCRA provide smaller learning environments, allow for credit recovery, and provide students with opportunities to explore different careers. And for some students, NCRA is restoring their faith in school. When someone is telling me about their problems or about how they're struggling in school, I think, oh my god, do you have an academy? Like, you need to sign up for the program admin. They help you and you can read about it. They, you can just ask your counselor and they'll tell you more information about it, but it's amazing. I absolutely love it. I would basically refer to anyone who's, like, struggling, who, like, wants to make up work and, like, graduate on time, that this would be a good program because you could work at your own pace and make sure that you graduate on time, too. It's important for kids. It's important to recognize that not all students learn the same way, the same pace, and the same building. And Fairfax County believes that students should have multiple pathways to high school graduation, and this is just one of them. When it's all said and done, the kids need to feel like they were successful. And that's usually in a matter of a lot of different ways. It can be that they graduated high school. It can be that they were able to finish the, you know, the classes they got into that they really struggled with and now they're done and they can move on. That's success, you know, and each kid has a different view of success and that version of success is what we're trying to help them achieve.